So I ran into a little problem with my tennis program. We don't have good scorecards. And all we had was a whole bunch of loose cards like these laying around inside of our shed. And so uh, we we're just kind of working on a way to make our own scorecards that we can mount onto our, our net posts. So basically we're making it out of half inch PVC and it's gonna slide into a slot or a container which is one inch PVC which is gonna be mounted onto the post. Um, these cards originally came with these rings which really sucked because they popped open and every time that they pop open like this, all my cards would fall out <clears throat> and they'd get mixed up. So we've fixed those. These are the no slip rings. They're like a keychain ring and they're actually pretty easy to put on to the cards so that they shouldn't slip. So here's gonna be my design. Okay, so here we are. This is all the ingredients you need for one of these wonderful scorecards. You've got your, that's your mount that you mount onto the post. It's gonna be holding our pole when we slide it in. These are the two pieces that are gonna fit across. And then I've got two caps to put on the ends of those things and a T to put in the middle. Uh, these little rings, these are like the keychain rings that you buy at the store. And we're gonna put those on to our cards right here. So I'll show you that being done. And then we're gonna drill a couple of holes and then we're, we're pretty much done. We're also gonna mount our little uh, set indicator. Okay? All right, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna take that T on here. Now I could be using glue on these things, but uh, you know these fittings fit pretty tightly anyway. So I'm thinking it's gonna be okay and they won't come undone. Uh, okay. Push that on there nice and tight. And push this one on there nice and tight. We're gonna slide this card on here. And then we're gonna put a cap on the end of it to keep it in place. Okay, uh, that shows you most of it, but let's go ahead and we're gonna measure down uh, 10 and a half inches from here. And I'm gonna mark that with the pen, which is over here. You can see this is a precision science here going on. And I've got my smaller drill bit in because I just want my pop rivet to fit inside that. So, and knowing about right where it's at. There we go, that's how you drill a hole in the table. Okay. Now, if this isn't perfectly straight, then you can go ahead and turn it a little bit to straighten it up, just like that. All right, then we're gonna take our little pop rivet and we're gonna take our set indicator. And uh, I have a little washer on the end of that because I don't want it to pull through. And I'm gonna push that down so it's going through it. And take my pop rivet gun. My favorite tool, by the way. I love pop rivets. If you can't use a pop rivet, you haven't found the right project. Ah, there we go. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a hole and put our set screw in. That's so that, ouch, that hurt. This keeps our uh, score scorecard stuff from sliding down through the, the hole. So we're gonna put this in our one inch pipe. Doesn't have to be precise, just up a little ways. Okay, and there we go. And that's on the bottom side. All right, so we're putting the scorecards together. You know, it's like a deck of cards right now. Uh, you'll notice that if you flip this card over like that, it better be the same numbers on both sides, a four and a four, ah, uh, it is. And if I flip it over again like this, 
I should get the same number, seven and seven. So we're in the right order, so that's good. Because when you flip the score over, that's what it's supposed to do. Uh, you're gonna hold this part, I'm gonna open it up and we'll show you how to put those on. Uh, I really wondered whether this was possible at first, but after a little bit of practice with the assistant coach, uh, we got this down to a pretty good science where we could do this pretty easily. Uh, there we go. Of course, it was very bad when we put them together like this and found out that we had them wrong the first time we tried this. In the wrong order. Yeah. All right, let's see, we got that. And I just turn it a little bit like you're putting on your keys on a key ring. And uh, voila, we got that one in. Let's do the second one. I thought the second one was gonna be a lot harder, but uh, we've kind of mastered that one now too. Two cards at a time for us works good. There you go. And there you go. Okay, now we can put that on here. And put the end cap on. Once the end cap goes on, these rings stay put, which I really like. So here we are, we're installing the posts that are gonna hold the, the scorecards in them. And I put one above and one below here so that they're not gonna interfere with the mechanism that tightens or lowers the net.